Okay, I'd like to talk about filters now. And just as a fair warning, this next piece is going to contain a few spoilers about the Hunger Games series. So if you haven't read all of the books, this next part may be a little surprising. Just a fair warning. So on to the tributes. So now I would like to talk about filters. So what filters do is they allow you to filter your information. It allows you to sort and kind of cut down the data you have. So as you can see, we're interested in maybe the districts. So we can see right now that they're sort of jumbled. They're not in any particular order. So if we select all this data, either by clicking in A1 and then holding shift and clicking in E20 to select this entire range, or we can click and drag to select all of this information. Now it's important to get the headers up top here because those will not be changed in the filter. Now we can start a filter by either clicking on this button that kind of looks like a funnel or we can click on data and click filter again with the little funnel. So if we go ahead and click on that we can see these numbers are highlighted in green and if we click outside of the filter we can see there's a green border that indicates that a filter is active. We can also see there are now these little arrows here. Now if we click on one of these, we get some options. We have the option to filter out particular items or to sort the column. So let's go ahead and sort A to Z. We can see now that sorts it based on district. It has one, two, three, four, et cetera, et cetera. Now what if we were curious about grouping them by the ones that are, the attributes that are still alive and those that were not so fortunate. The odds were not in their favor. Well, we can see we can do that too. Now what if we're only interested in seeing the, those that are still alive? Well, then we can uncheck this, click OK, and we're left with these. And now we can sort those from A to Z. Maybe we're curious more about the other districts. So what if we go sort from Z to A? Well, look at that. Now we've got number 12 on top. We have Katniss, Peta, Hamich. So we can see how that works. We can basically sort down our data. We can pare it down to get particular things. And when a filter has been applied, you can see that this changes to show that kind of little filter icon. So if we click that and put the check back to deceased, we see that they come right on back. Now say we were only curious in about, I don't know, perhaps those tributes in the 30 to say 50 range. So we can then select these because those are our interest group and then it cuts them down and we can see, well, there we go. Those are the ones we were interested in. And then we can click clear select all to check or uncheck all of those options. Then we click OK, everything's back. Now once we're done filtering, we can click data and turn off filter, and then those little drop down arrows go away. Now those are distinct from these because when you click on this, it selects the entire row and it allows you to sort it. If you sort that row, it sorts everything, including the headers. So if we do that again, if we go sort A to Z, you can see it kind of changes everything, but it doesn't allow us those kind of handy filter functions.